Hey everybody, I'm back at you with another one. This one, I haven't done this pod in a while, and it's back when I first started eating them. I was the, uh, the butch tea. It was one of the first ones I grew up, butch tea and, uh, and uh, boot. And it's been a while, but I can remember the pain of it. I know that. And some of the ones I've been eating lately have been a lot hotter. So, like the seven pot brownies, nothing's topped it. Well, today it's time to do a butch tea from the man himself, Butch Taylor. These are right from him, thanks to my good friend John, the Italian 556. Uh, he had them sent to me from Butch, which was pretty damn cool. So, I've been looking forward to this, kind of. <laughs> just more or less just to see if it's that much hotter than what I was growing, which could have been handed down a hundred times, and who knows what it really is, and had the general shape. But these are way bigger than what I've ever grown. I don't know if it's the size, the, the look of them is a little different. And John said he thinks his opinion is it's hotter than the seven pot brown. It actually hurt him worse. Let's put it that way. So that makes me a little nervous because that thing about freaking killed me. So here they are. Here's what I got sent. That's the one I'm going to eat. Pretty big, gnarly looking butch tea. The ones I grew, I don't know, if you look back in my videos, you can see it, it's got a, they're a lot smoother, and they're real smooth, almost like jalapeno smooth, and no bumps at all, and a real distinct little whip tail, not a, this looks really beefy, <laughs> and this one, that actually isn't the most perfect one, but it's the biggest one, so I figured I'd eat that, let me see here, this one's a little more traditional, a butch tea, but the mine didn't seriously did not look like this at all. I mean, they aren't even close to this. If you put it next to it, it looks like a totally different pepper. They're so much more distinct in a different way, real smooth and real crisp tail. It wasn't up inside like a seven pod kind of, or like a kind of like the Maruga does, not seven pod, the Maruga does on the bottom. Mine didn't never did that. So, yeah, a couple other ones. We have pretty much the same look as the one I'm gonna eat, but that's a this one that looks perfect had a little bit of softness to it and I personally can't stand that eating a pepper that's even starting to turn it just kind of turns my stomach any pepper hot or not it just kind of freaks me out so I picked the crispest one <laughs> this is the freshest one out of all of them and it's the biggest one so I figured I'd do this one so anyhow I guess I gotta see what's inside this beast It's crisp all right. Holy cow. Wow, it looks great inside. Oh yeah, that's the smell all right. It smells the same as mine. That's what it looks like. Nice looking, perfectly formed pod inside. Nice perfect placenta. I'm gonna grab some of these seeds because I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna trash my uh, overwinters. Not real happy with them. They got, it's part of this fungal problem I had too, but they were already I don't know. They did good, and they produced wants really good at the beginning of the season, and now they're just producing little tiny things near the branches. I'm going to be doing an update here pretty soon to show you guys the progress of my problem, my fungal thing, That how good it's going. It's going really good, by the way. They're actually coming back. Got a little bit left, but I'm just happy to have leaves at this point. Screw the pods. I just want leaves. So that's happening. So that's a good thing. But, uh... The uh, plants are weird now. They just, I'll show them on my video. I'll show you guys. It's done, look, just doesn't look good. It's, they're like, look like scarecrow arms all over, little weird brown, scraggly ass branches everywhere with nothing on them and nothing will grow on them. They won't sprout. And I cut them up back and they just do it again. And I don't know. It just doesn't look healthy to me. It's a big ass plant. I mean, they're probably five feet tall out of the pots at least. But I don't know not producing great looking peppers you know what the hell's the point point? and I could either cut them down and let them give them another chance but they're gonna kind of do the same thing I think that's what I did last year and they kind of didn't really I don't know I'm just gonna get rid of them they weren't in great soil to begin with the same problem I got now and I couldn't get rid of all the soil so they're still in that crap with other stuff around it so I thought I'd just take some better seed product here and use stuff like this and just start from scratch 
Start over. I'm kind of looking forward to starting over, sterilizing my pots and just starting with a good mix. I'm probably going to use Pro Mix, maybe. John's got me talked into that. Cause it's looking like the deal I saw was 23 bucks for a 3.7 uh, cubic foot bale of Pro Mix MX, the new one. I think it's MX or BX with the uh, Myco in it. That seems pretty cheap to me. I don't think I can make it that cheap. I was going to make Pro Mix, my own blend of Pro Mix, but. I think it's going to be right around there, so why the hell mix it, you know, and then just add some perlite into it or something. Plus, they don't have to mix it, which is a pain in the ass when you got 50 pots. So, I think I might go with that this year. Save me a lot of damn time and won't be such a pain in the ass potting, potting them things up. That's the worst part, just mixing all that soil and getting it right. And Anyhow, it's backbreaking. So, I think I'm ready to do this. Save the placenta. I didn't take any of that out just the seeds. Oh boy. Oh my god, it's even stronger now that I scraped that out. Jesus. Oh, it smells like strawberry or something. Really, really fruity. It smells like the Maruga I did from Toby, that sweet candy-like almost smell to it. I hope it tastes like that. Get my timer running just to see how long this is to my stupid videos. My camera, for some reason, at the 15 minute mark, shuts it off and starts a new video. And I lose a little clip in there and I splice it together and it looks like I jumped across the screen. So, if you ever notice that, that's why. So, I've turned it down to 720p now and I think I can get a little longer video out of it now. But if it gets to 20 minutes, uh, well, you guys probably won't be around watching after 20 minutes anyhow, so it won't really matter. So, forget all that. But I'm going to ride it out till the end of this. And uh, we'll see how it goes. Butch T from the man. Thanks, John. Oh boy, it's crisp as hell. I had it in the fridge. Ooh, it's hot right away. Hmm. Oh my god, it's been in that placenta. Oh wow. Oh, that's strong. Oh my god. The flavor. Mm. <laughs> oh. oh my god, the flavor is like ten times stronger than mine. <coughs> All of that. All of that uh, scorpion flavor is just like ten times intensified, man. Oh, I got the big fume shit going on. Almost made me hurl again. I seen with that Assam. Mm -hmm. Oh, this son of a bitch is hot. Oh, I don't want to have hiccups. Oh, mother. Mm -hmm. Why did I start talk talking? That's what turned them on. my tongue. Oh, it's killing me. Under my tongue. It just tore up. My face feels like it's just on fire sweating. 
Ooh, boy. Oh, that kicks you in the ass. Oh, it's just now heading to the throat, but... Oh, the throat hurts, but the mouth, wow. That taste is gone. full of water. Oh boy. Oh, I don't want to breathe. Whoo. Oh, I'm fidgeting it all over the place. Yeah, that bitch is hot. Oh, here comes the adrenaline. Oh, I can't remember what time I started now. Holy shit. That's way hotter than mine. My tolerance wasn't shit when I did that one either. I did it right in the beginning of my pod testing and said, fuck it, I'm doing the which the oh oh my god this is torture oh my god oh, it's just migrating to my fucking throat now oh, my tongue and cheeks and shit are still on fire but the throat is just going off I'm like Matt, man. I'm rocking all over the damn place. My head is buzzing all over. My face is just asleep, tingling. Oh, every breath is just excruciating pain. Oh, it sucks. Kind of trying to peek. I can't even tell you how long it's been, but I don't even care. I wouldn't say it's hotter than the seven pod, not for me. Boy, it's damn close, if not the same. It might be just right there with it. I'm kind of beside myself, same way. I don't know what to do with myself. I was nowhere near the tolerance when I did that seven pride pot either. I'm pretty, my tolerance has got to be pretty high right now. I did a bunch in a row. I haven't done any for a couple days, maybe three days. <sighs> but I've still been eating hot shit, just not fresh pots. Oh, my throat. <sighs> Finally, it's peaked. The drool was insane. Of course, that makes the throw worse. Oh, whoo! Oh, wow, my buzz. But you grow a mean frickin' pod. I don't really know you. I've heard you're a really great guy. I appreciate you sending a man, John. Thanks a ton, man. That was a cool gift. Oh. Jesus. Wow. I'm in La La Land. It just didn't go away. God, it lasts a long time. throat and tongue, I just can't take a breath. Doesn't even help to breathe. Oh, it's almost worth breathing through my nose. I'm like doubled up on the throat pain.
trying to go down. Oh, every time I talk, it just gives me a punch of pain in there. Sorry, I'm not talking much, but. Well, there's a 16 minute mark on my clock, so that's when the video started, so. Hopefully it didn't cut it off, but if it did, it did. Thanks again to everybody, and the flavor was freaking great. Absolutely multiplication of the Trinidad flavor, stronger than any of them. Even the bubble gum and all them, just a punch of flavor. Almost nauseating, so strong. Good though, sweet. No bitterness at all. Just pure scorpion flavor, like concentrated scorpion paste. That's what it tasted like. If you can handle that, chew one of these up. gonna tell you guys a couple of the sauces I got coming out but god damn I don't want to talk it's just coming back it isn't going away it's not really giving up I'll just quickly tell you it's I got when I just finished mojo madness or moho madness I mean roasted tomatillos Roasted scotch bonnets, a big time, used half a case, four pounds. <sighs> roasted garlic, everything in it's roasted. It's just a good tart, moho, tart, moho sauce. <sighs> I'm gonna be making a, a good, strong Jamaican jerk <sighs> called the Crazed Jamaican. <sighs> and I just re-upped on the relish and all the other ones, I'm not running out of anything. I'm trying to keep up, and I am so far. I haven't gotten had on anything. And thanks to Mike at ChiliGrower.com and Jen, their graciousness. I'm going to be making a... Boy, those full sentences just kick my ass. It hurts like hell. I'm going to be bringing on a new one called Florida Fury. It's mango-based with a touch of bacon possibly, I'm still testing that. And pure boots. It's not gonna be blazing hot, but it's gonna be knock your socks off mango punch in Florida, essence of everything in Florida. It's gonna be good, clean, pure flavor with probably a, I'm hoping for a seven or eight crack of the, of the boots. I'm gonna really hammer it and hope I get that out of it. The boho is only about, I'm labeling it as a six. It's probably hotter. It's probably about a seven or eight, but it goes away quick. It's pure scotch bonnets, no enhancement, no powder. Pure roasted scotch bonnets. I roasted them whole, brown as hell. But it's got a pretty good snap when you first put it in your mouth, so I, it's probably gonna feel a little hotter to some people. Oh, well, it says 19 minutes on my thing, so hopefully I got a couple minutes of fucking off in the beginning I can chop off. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, Matt, Butch T, and Mike for future sauce capability. Thanks everybody. We'll see you.